Some say statistically, this was a once in a thousand year flood event. A summer's worth of rain falling in just a few days. But I can tell you for many in Vermont, it wasn't even a once in a lifetime type flood. While many communities were changed for years in a flash from the flooding, nowhere was hit harder than the state capital of Montpelier, a small city no stranger to big floods. Seems like it has gotten worse since we saw you last. Yeah, yeah it's still coming up. I'm Jonathan Petromala. I rode in the passenger seat with WX Chasing throughout the Green Mountain State. I, <laughs> I don't know how he's getting down this road. We risked washed out roads and flooded roads to document and tell the story better than any network can. Please subscribe and after you finish watching this short documentary, give the video a like and let me know what you thought in the comments. Just got on the ground here in Vermont. We're heading to Southern Vermont from Burlington where the big problems so far have happened from this potentially catastrophic flash flooding event. Not only you're seeing the water flooding on the roads, but you're seeing as you drive by small streams overflowing in their banks, rivers rising as well, threatening towns. There are towns already isolated because of water over the roads and slides as well. Numerous highways and roads here in Vermont are already shut down and more rain is on the way. This unfortunately is a scene throughout Southern Vermont. Streams, tiny, most days you would never even notice they're there usually. Trickles, now a raging torrent, closing Highway 103. Trying to make our way down to Londonbury, but we keep, keep getting cut off because of what you see here. Water over the roadways as well as landslides that have wiped away parts of roads. There are towns that are isolated from this very unusual and what could be a catastrophically historic flood event for the state of Vermont. So we made it into the heart of Londonderry and it is bad. There is a lot of water, several feet of water sitting right here through the center of town. It's flooded into businesses and some low-lying areas, some homes, cars submerged, as you see right here. Just so much water. People comparing this to 2011 Irene. It was a tropical storm by the time it reached this part of the country. It caused a lot of damage, a lot of catastrophic flooding. And this is exactly what people remember. Roads covered, washed away, towns flooded, homes and businesses flooded as well. What is this like? This is crazy. Um, we live, we've lived here for quite a while and uh, this was Irene, I remember, but some people are saying this is, this is worse, than Irene. worse than Irene. I mean, at least here and other places, maybe not, but here, mm. I think it definitely might be. It why, is why is that? Like, why do you guys say, because I mean, Irene was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I mean, we drove through over by your parents' house that it wasn't as high as it was Irene. That was close. But it was it close, but but up here it seemed to take it harder. Yeah, they got a lot compared to Manchester. More here I know Manchester, than Manchester, didn't get the, yeah. the height, the level, waterline, hmm. like it did up here. What's been the most dramatic thing you're seeing? Just this oh. main street, just completely it's completely yeah. flooded. But well, those, I, the been, stores have taken it. I know. Two or three different times in the past like, ten years hmm. since yeah. Irene. I don't remember what year Irene was. And Ludlow. The pharmacy, I'm a pharmacist and the pharmacy that I work at had it, they got hit really bad with Irene and we got pictures of our store this morning and we have water in there right now. The, oh, there's another pharmacy down the street mm -hmm. and it looks like it, it's right across from that Okemo Mountain sign okay. yeah. in that green building plaza there. And I think it, it looked like it's just it's gone. It's all a bit the thing with yeah. Irene, you knew it was coming. Did you guys? Yeah, I had no, no idea. Pro. I got no up clue. and was getting ready to go to work this morning and his mom called and said Ludlow's flooded out and I'm like what? Well, it's 5.30 this morning. Yeah and we I started looking and I was texting my boss I was like I don't think I can get to work this morning because they I looked it up and they had all the roads closed going closed. in and there was no way to get to work. And so, even on the side roads all the culverts yeah, washed and it out. Took, we took it out. Everybody I talked to one of the people that I work with and he was like I had no idea I got up and looked out the window and I couldn't believe it because he lives right in Ludlow and He's like, I'm not going outside today, <laughs> so. This creek, now river, still rushing through the town of Weston, Vermont. 
but you really can't tell how bad it was until you look at this road. You can see the power and what it did, buckling, making waves, wiping away this road right here in the middle of the town of Weston, Vermont. Yeah, Irene was, was pretty similar. Um, water levels are definitely much higher with this rainstorm, you know, not in the hurricane season, which is pretty crazy, but um, yeah, this is, uh, we saw this 12 years ago, but this is definitely, seems to be a little bit worse. What makes it worse in your mind? Because you have that perspective of a tropical storm, a hurricane, then tropical storm dumping, you know, historic amounts of rain. Yeah, I mean, what happened was on Friday, there was kind of an isolated storm specific to west, basically western area that dumped about four inches of rain. Mm -hmm. So then when you added another seven to eight on top of that, that's what made this so much worse. Where like, if you were to go north, maybe 30 miles, they didn't get that four inches of storm, you know, that, that, of rain, sorry, mm -hmm. that we got. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's what made this one so bad. Wow. Damage, similar to Irene? Or I mean, it's hard telling, not knowing. This is the first time I've been out since the waters receded a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I would say it's pretty on par, if not worse, mm -hmm. so. Did you expect to ever see something like what you saw at the Irene? Not at all. Yeah. This is the capital of Vermont, and it is under feet of water. People are getting around on its streets, not by car, but by paddleboard, kayak, and over here you can see even a canoe. Folks who live here in the downtown area are grabbing what they can, moving to higher ground. The water has just kept going up, going up. And this is what happens. This is a city, a state capital cut off not only from the country but also the rest of the state. It's cut off because the interstate is shut down. Roads are washed out coming into the city. No one can get in and out easily. So people here are left on their own in feet of water. This is just the second time in recorded history the river has ever reached this level before. Seems like it has gotten worse since we saw you last. Yeah, yeah it's still coming up. Uh, what was it like? Deep. Yeah. Yeah. Like how, how deep would you give me an uh, estimate? On Elm Street, at least breast deep. Yeah. Yeah. So what was it like for you going on your kayak and you're kayaking down the street, you walk, you go, you know, walk to restaurants, go to bars? It was pretty surreal. Yeah. yeah. Kind of cool, you know, in a post-apocalyptic way. That's our basement. Whoa. Did you, still running. Did you stay the night here last night? Yeah. What was that like? Well, it was supposed to like slow down by one. And at one, I went to bed like, okay, I see the little crest on the gauge down on Langdon Street going down. But I woke up at like two or three. I didn't really sleep. I just kind of like looked outside and the water was like rushing into the basement. Up at the front. Yeah. That was kind of the end of that. Literally half hour, 15 minutes ago, that was below the bottom stuff. Yeah, so, so it's surprising. come up like an inch. <laughs> like half an hour. <laughs> At six o'clock it was like yeah. Yeah. Was right? yeah. yeah. What's it like standing and you're just kind of like sitting having coffee and you're watching the slow motion disaster happen in front of you? It's uh something you know, like I've ever seen before. <laughs> it's definitely like exciting but really heartbreaking. Just you know, feels there's all a, of the businesses downtown. There's a level of, you know, I guess, yeah, excitement. Like you don't experience this every day, and then, but you know, your heart goes out to everybody's affected. My parents, I mean, everybody, businesses. Yeah. 
his parents are right up the row. Their basement is completely flooded with their furnace system and everything. All of the businesses um, and a lot have done like renovations recently that we feel so bad about. And a, a lot will probably just close too, just with the state of the financial situation here. We also, as Vermont, we rely so much on tourism. So it's really gonna be an interesting couple weeks after this, seeing um, just like how we bounce back from it, for sure. Yeah. It'll be interesting. Were you guys here for Irene? Yeah, yeah I was when I was a yeah. kid. Yeah. yeah, it was nothing like this. <laughs> <laughs> I remember yesterday we were walking along the bridge and I was pointing things out. I was like, wow, you know, this is bad, but nothing compared to Irene. <laughs> 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 well, like, and that was... 10 hours later? The afternoon, later. yeah. It's the opposite now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is way worse. Because you said Irene was what? It was at 15 feet, uh, and this is like 23 yeah, or something or so, like yeah. that. Yeah, it was, it, it, it's it's definitely topped. It was like 18 feet, and then now it's over 22, 23 yeah. feet. So yeah. 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 And did you guys expect this to happen? Like, I, I mean, no. This was out of the blue. It was really similar to like Irene, like where it just rained and rained and rained and rained and didn't go away. But it wasn't like. Oh, the tropical storm is coming. Oh, that was hurricane. The weirdest no, part. It's it just... not a hurricane. It was just nonstop rain. And we've been also, I would say, five out of the five days out of the week for the past like four weeks, it's rained every day. So it's just been a slow buildup. One thing I've noticed, and it's kind of a weird thing because I've been in so many different floods, this is probably the cleanest flood water I've ever seen. You just don't see the trash floating in the water like you do in many places. Um, people are, are literally grabbing their trash cans and they're picking them up and trying to get them out of the water so the trash doesn't float away. So it's, it's kind of a unique thing that I've noticed here in Vermont is just how much they really care about it. Even though it's not maybe even their house, they're renters and they're still really taking care of the property. And you can tell it's a community. This is a very small city, around 8,000 or so. And so people know each other. Neighbors know each other. Families know each other. And so they look out for each other. And you can, you can get that feeling as you walk around and you talk to different people. This is Lena. So right, Delish right there, you see the dog? Yep. We're going to head up there. She and her wife were forced to evacuate from their apartment in downtown Montpelier, Vermont, Monday. All right, it's getting deep. Yeah. If what it gets think? too deep, well, I always try to not go above here just because it things can get too risky. Okay. So I want to wait for this guy here in the kayak. She has a pet. Where? On the third floor of Delish. The Winooski River had left its banks and submerged the state capitol in feet of water. In fact, actually too many feet for me to help her to retrieve a pet. It's a, dog like a, it's a lizard. <laughs> yeah, did I forget to mention Lena was trying to get her pet bearded dragon? She's a big bearded dragon. Um, she's on the third floor. We can't get over there. Some people might shriek, but this stranger actually paddled over with barely a question, grabbed the keys, and went to help. I hope she's okay. Is she okay? Thank you so much. Aww. Like a knight on a red kayak, he had delivered Khaleesi, Queen of the Dragons, safely. Yeah. Appreciate it. I call him a knight because I'm not sure if I would be brave enough to pick up a list. Oh, she's Yay! great. This large. I'm very um, grateful and blessed and I'm thankful for all the help of the community, honestly. I never expected this. One lucky lizard, but really, I've learned when Mother Nature is at its worst. Thank you very much. Usually it brings out the best in people, especially when pets are involved. Awesome. You helped us get her out. Yeah. It's the reservoir that um, I felt that I needed to get out because they said if it does break, it's, it's over.
Yeah, well, we just felt like we were recovering after the pandemic and we were just hitting our stride and it felt great like for the first time in a while and now this.